So the, uh, there's a second type of spread strategy that we use in addition to the debit spreads. We also create market neutral spreads. And for our option portfolio, generally we do about, whenever we have a profit in a call, then half the time we'll do a debit spread and then half the time we'll do a market neutral spread. So let's look at um, the market neutral spread. The uh, prime trade select has produced a lot of winning call option trades. So whenever you have a winning call option trade, you have that winning trade dilemma and you, you have to decide whether you're gonna hold the trade for further upside potential or take profits in case the stock declines in price with the possibility of your winning trade turning into a losing trade. So uh, this is a good dilemma to have. So uh, the question is, if you, if you have a profit in your call option, um, do you wanna hold that trade in case the stock continues to rally in price? Uh, but if you do that, then you have the risk that if the stock declines, then uh, there's a possibility that that um, winning option trade will turn into a loss. So um, we, we have that winning trade dilemma and we solve that by our market neutral spread strategy. And when we create a market neutral spread, um, the call op, you can continue to hold the call option that you already own and continue to profit if the underlying stock increases in price. But at the same time, you're protecting those profits if the underlying stock declines in price. And the way we uh, create these market neutral spreads is uh, if we have a winning call option trade, then at a later date, we'll buy a put option to uh, protect those profits. And I'll show you an example of that. Uh, and because there's a long position, which is the call option, and a short position, which is the put option, we simply call this a market neutral spread. It's also known, uh, known as a strangle uh, spread. So again, whenever we have 30% or greater profit in a call option purchase, uh, we'll purchase an at the money put option to protect those profits. And of course the call option profits if the underlying price uh, of the stock increases, and then the put option profits of the underlying profit of the, uh, the underlying stock uh, decreases. And your risk with market neutral spreads is limited to the cost of the spread. And uh, there's no limit on the profit potential of the spread if the underlying stock continues to increase in price. So that's, a, that's an important point here with these spreads. Uh, your profit potential is not limited by buying that put option. And it's possible, and we'll show you some examples of this, it's possible to even guarantee a profit for your call option purchase, regardless of the price movement of the underlying stock. And uh, we'll show you an example of that, how we locked in a profit by buying the put option. So um, here's a current trade example. This is for uh, DVY, the uh, dividend ETF, it was on a prime trade select buy signal. So our brokerage report shows that we bought the uh, 78 strike call for DVY at 460. So um, we use prime trade select in the Keltner channels. We selected a low risk entry uh, and, our pro and our call option was profitable. Um, again, purchase, purchase the 78 strike call at 460. So we had a profitable trade. And then what we did at a later date is we purchased the DBY 88 strike put option. And that of course created a market neutral spread. So we legged into the spread by purchasing the 88 strike put. So you can see right here, uh, our brokerage confirmation says we bought the um, 88 strike put at 120. Uh, so uh, we have a uh, calculator for these market neutral uh, trades. And again, that'll calculate the profit potential assuming various price changes in DVY at option expiration. In this example, from a 30% increase in the price of DVY to a 100% decrease. Of course, we don't expect any type of decrease like this, but 
we're just uh, putting it in there just to sh demonstrate the strategy. So um, again, we purchased the 78 strike call at 460, and then we had a profit in that trade at a later date. We purchased the 88 strike put at 120. So the calculator will calculate this uh, profit potential, and we can see that if DBY is uh, flat at option expiration, then we'll have a $778 profit and a 134% return. But if DBY increases in price, uh, let's say we have a 10% increase in DBY, we'll, we'll have a $1,694 profit and a 292% return. And you can see that there's no limit on the profit potential as the underlying stock continues to increase, then your profit potential also increases. And also importantly, if the underlying stock goes down, uh, let's say it goes down 40%, which we would not expect, but if it did, <laughs> it, you would still be profitable and you'd have a $2,700 profit and a 469% return. So in this case, buying that 88 strike put, put option uh, in this case, guaranteed a profit, and our uh, our lowest return would be 134% um, return. And if the stock have a higher return, if the stock goes down, we'll have a higher return. So in this case, we locked in 134% return, uh, no matter what what happens to DBY. So. Um, Here's one more example. This is for uh, Home Depot, and we bought uh, 45 of the Home Depot 80 strike calls at 10:15, and we had a, we had a profit in this trade. So then we, uh, at a later date, we bought it. We bought the Home Depot 110 strike put at 4:20. So bought the 80 strike call at 10:15 and then bought the 110 strike put at 420. And let's look at the uh, profit potential for that using the uh, market neutral calculator. And for this trade, if Home Depot stock was flat at option expiration, we'd have a $2,082 profit on the spread and 145% return. And then our return goes up from there if Home Depot stock goes up in price and also our return goes up if Home Depot stock goes down in price. So in this example, a uh, minimum return of 145% for um, this Home Depot uh, spread. So once you buy that put option for protection, uh, you can forget about your option trade. There's no need to monitor the markets or world events. Uh, bad earnings reports don't matter. A severe sell-off in the markets actually produces more profits with this strategy. So you can place the uh, trade and forget about it until option expiration. So uh, a sharp decline in the price of the underlying stock doesn't matter. And uh, we don't have to worry about placing uh, protective stops. And again, the risk in the market neutral trade is limited to the cost of the spread. So as you can imagine, this is a great way in, to invest. And as veteran traders with a lot of experience, we've been burned many times by unexpected market declines. And if you own um, a call option portfolio that's heavily leveraged, uh, you know, a sudden market decline could wipe, wipe out the profits in that portfolio. So we, we're always looking, whenever we have a profit in an option, we're always looking to either create a debit spread or create a market neutral spread to uh, protect those uh, profits. And um, one of the worst feelings as a trader is you're sitting on a profitable, profitable portfolio, portfolio of call options only to see that portfolio turning into a losing portfolio. Uh, that's, that's hard to get over uh, as a trader. So you don't want to put yourself in that position. If you have a profit in a call option, uh, you want to create a spread to uh, protect those profits. 